Good evening. Welcome to We Mean Business. I am Anisha Nayar Dhawan. Commerce Minister Anand Sharma today announced the extension of SOPs for the export sector as well as fresh measure, measures to boost exports, which recorded 7% growth in March, the third consecutive monthly increase. Some of these measures include extension of 2% interest subvention for more labor-intensive sectors and incentives for special economic zones or SEZs. Are these steps enough to turn around exports which fell by 1.7% to $300.6 billion during 2012-13? To discuss this, I am joined by Mr. Ajay Sahai. He is Director General and CEO of FIEO. I also have with me Mr. A. Shakti Vail. He is Chairman, APEC and President of Tirpur Exporters Association. And I also have with me Mr. Ajay Dua. He is a former secretary and minister, uh, former secretary, Ministry of Industry and Commerce. And also joining us in Delhi is uh, Mr. Arvind Prasad, Director General of FIKI. Welcome, gentlemen, uh, to this discussion. Uh, uh, let me start with you, Mr. Sahai. Are you happy with the measures that were announced by Commerce Minister today? Do you think they're good enough to boost exports significantly? No, in fact, uh, export, uh, if you look at the whole global scenario, export cannot be boosted just because of the domestic support which is given to the export. You look at the market also, the markets are becoming difficult. W WTO has revised the forecast for 2013. IMF has come with the revised forecast, which points that market will be a little difficult. Uh, those who are looking at the policy announcement with the hope that some major ticketing item will be announced, they are a little disappointed. <coughs> but knowing fully well that this is the terminal year of the foreign trade policy as the policies from 2009 to 14, I think whatever government has announced, that basically aims at improving the delivery mechanism of the policy and adding to the competitiveness of exports. I think by announcing the measures today, government has put the ball back into the court of the exporters and government wants now exporter to go aggressively in the market. Where in fact, uh, I personally feel that government could have given a little more push is on the marketing development. Mm. FIO has proposed for an export development fund. What we require in today's scenario is that exporters should be aggressive in the market because if you are not physically present in the market, even when the situation improves, mm. you may not get the full advantage of that. With that objective in view, we suggest an expo export development for macro and small industry so that they are encouraged to go into the market and once that happens, I'm sure export will back on track. We, we will discuss this fund uh, in more details in a little bit from now. Uh, uh, what did you think, Mr. Duap? Uh, you know, uh, you've been at the ministry and uh, previously, and you've seen that, you know, these policy uh, policies come every five years. We are at the cusp of a new policy coming out. Uh, what was announced today, is it just a small measure? Is it a stop gap to an entire policy which has to be more long term? Uh, to uh, in its uh, effort to increase exports? I think what the government did this afternoon was to add on to an existing framework. Mm. They've strengthened it. They've added, given the financial constraints, mm. more issues, um, more uh, concessions into it. And they've done a very good job in supporting the textile industry. In fact, jocularly, it's being mentioned that this was, today was a, today's was a, supplement policy for the textile mm. industry probably rightly so we've suffered almost eight percent fall in exports of textiles mm. but some of the fundamental issues which are constraining the indian exports those probably need to be attended to not only in the <coughs> trade policy but in the general framework of economic policy of the country mm. those i think would need to be addressed as uh, in the weeks and the months mm. to come. Mr. Shaktivel, um, there were incentives announced for the textile industry. Do you think this is enough? Because you know, the textile industry was looking at a stop of export of cotton, uh, which has not happened. How much of a pressure does uh, input, uh, does it pressure input prices if cotton is exported in large amounts? The thing is, uh, this year cotton export is not affected much, mm. but uh, I can say that a uh, uh, little bit of increase in cotton yarn price is affecting us for the last two months. We are requesting the government to do something on that. <coughs> but generally speaking about this policy, uh, as uh, Mr. Ajeshwa said, I, I say one step further, it is foreign textile policy, mm -hmm. not FTP. So we are very happy about the policy. And uh, 
I always uh, uh, feel that uh, this uh, uh, FTP, which announced about four years back, made, uh, made the exporters to go for a diversification of the market. Otherwise, we usually do only for Europe and states, especially for the apparel. If we see our exports to even uh, last year, 50% to Europe, 25% to states, and 25% to other countries. Now, because of the uh, initiative taken by our uh, Commerce Ministry and Mr. Commerce Minister, now this uh, this year about 63% to the non-traditional market. Mm. 